you missed your period and then the first thing that came to your mind is oh my god i think i'm pregnant you are right because you are missing your period is usually the first sign of pregnancy but then there are other factors that can lead to missed period or late period you decide to carry out a pregnancy test and it came out negative oh, you are not pregnant and then your period is not there what could be the problem in today's video we'll be talking about reasons why your period is late i'm pharmacist vera and this youtube channel is focused on health and health related terms please if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button the first reason we'll be talking about today is early pregnancy test early pregnancy test refers to carrying out a pregnancy test too early before the hcg level rises sufficiently to be dictated by your test kit hcg is a hormone usually in pregnancy so the levels of this hormone has to rise sufficiently to be dictated by the test kit so if you carry out this pregnancy test too early you may get a false negative result so i would advise that if you are so sure that you are pregnant because of the symptoms and then you've had an unprotected sexual intercourse you can go back and carry out the test a week later yes number two the use of contraceptives yeah the use of progesterone only contraceptives like intrauterine devices depo shorts and other contraceptives can also make your period to be late because they affect your hormonal levels because you know usually taking contraceptives because of the way it acts by like thickening your cervical mucus making it difficult for the sperm to pass through to fertilize the egg it affects your hormonal level this can lead to late period or absence of period completely in some individuals depending on your body makeup number three is ectopic pregnancy now what is ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is also known as the false pregnancy ectopic pregnancy occurs when a fertilized egg implants and grows outside the uterus usually in the fallopian tube in this type of pregnancy because it's not like the normal pregnancy hcg may not be secreted sufficiently hence when you carry out the pregnancy test you may get a negative result and if you are really sure that you are pregnant because you've had an unprotected sexual intercourse and then you are experiencing symptoms like abdominal pelvic pain meeting nausea morning sickness vaginal bleeding dizziness painful urination then you may need to see your healthcare professional as soon as possible number four Premature ovarian failure. I've spoken about this before. It's also known as diminished ovarian reserve. When a woman, before she clocks the age of 40, there's a depreciation in the quality and the quantity of eggs released. You know that for every menstrual cycle, the eggs will have to be released, yes. So when there's a decrease in this number of eggs and in the quality of the eggs released, it can affect your menstrual cycle. Your period may either be lit or completely absent number five thyroid levels in the body high or low thyroid levels in the body can also lead to late period can also affect your menstrual cycle it can also make your period late or even completely absent that's hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism that's high levels and low levels of thyroid hormones in the body the sixth factor is PCOS, which is known as polycystic ovarian syndrome this is a condition that affects the menstrual cycle and is usually associated with lack of ovulation, insulin resistance, obesity, over secretion of the male hormones, testosterone in a woman. For women, they are not supposed to have excess testosterone. It's supposed to be in a small quantity. But for some women, it is usually high and so they start talking like men there's his to their voices becomes like that of men they start growing beards and all of that it's as a result of excess secretion of testosterone so you should see your healthcare professional to be properly treated but i'm going to make a video on pico very soon the last factor is stress it could be emotional stress maybe you're suffering from a heartbreak or the loss of a loved one it could even be financial stress you have a lot of bills you are in debt you need money for a lot of things it could be career stress like stress from your work and all any form of stress when it becomes chronic and extreme 
it can lead to lack of period so many people like it's it's almost a normal thing to go through stress in nigeria but then when it becomes a chronic form of stress it can affect your menstrual cycle leading to absence of your period or late menstruation yes late periods thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have found this video helpful feel free to ask your questions in the comment section as i'll be here to answer them and if you know you've not yet subscribed to this channel please click on the subscription button like this video to show me that the video was impactful it was helpful and you learned from this video and also share this video with your loved ones thank you and see you some other time bye